Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with Machine Design Magazine. We're here with Mark Lowe from Sabre Defense. Mark is going to tell us a little bit about how they make components for 50 caliber machine guns and assault rifles. All of Sabre's barrel material is bought mill specific and it's bought in mill run quantities so that we can control the heat locks, which controls the metallurgical composition of the barrel material. It's brought in in blanks. Uh, these normally come in uh, 12 to 20 foot bars. It's a special chrome vanadium alloy that we use specific to uh, both military and commercial operations. Comes in as a, as a, as a blank, then it'll go through a, an initial turning operation to qualify it, and then we use that same point for qualification all the way through the process. Once the datum is established, we never deviate off of it. This is our TPT Nagel. Uh, this machine was specifically designed and built uh, for us, uh, even though it is a commercial machine, it was specifically built uh, for the 50 caliber uh, heavy barrels, and we do three barrels at a time. Uh, this is a gun drill that uh, establishes the center line of the barrel. Once this gun drill operation is done, uh, everything comes off that center line from then on. It does about uh, 50 barrels a shift, and they're, hand lo they're, they're pneumatically loded in. They start out as a 60 some, uh, 62 pound blank. When a barrel is done, it weighs about 52 pounds, so we're moving about 10 pounds of material off these blanks by the time this barrel is finished. But this is the, uh, the key operation in establishing our datum in our center. Uh, without this operation, without this type of equipment, uh, Sabre couldn't hold the accuracy they, that they do on their, on their barrel line. This is our, uh, one of our commercial barrels, it's a seven and a half inch. This is a blank. It's coming into this operation uh, for, uh, to be contoured. So it'll start out like this and it'll end up like this in the machine behind me. Uh, this is commercial seven and a half inch uh, in length. It's a 5.56 NATO round. Uh, it's been contoured and chambered, ready to go. Uh, from this point, it'll end up going to a, to a special treatment for the outside to prevent rust and all that. And then they'll finish turning the, the final diameters on it, and it'll go in assembly on the gun. This particular operation on the contouring has a 12-minute. It's a 12-minute cycle for this one to go from from this to this. It's about 12 minutes apart, and they're they're done one at a time, so we can control the dimensions again. Like the larger heavy barrels, we use the two ends where they've established the, the center line and everything then is turned to center and that maintains concentricity throughout the entire barrel. And the alloy on this again is a, is a special chrome vanadium style alloy. It's a, it's a little more expensive, but it holds, it holds better during the heat treat process. Um, it's much more stable. It also does not have uh, some of the issues a forged barrel does uh, during the firing. You know, when you run numerous rounds, it doesn't want to heat up and, and warp and bend and, and, and throw your shot off. This is our Sun and Hone. Um, this is kind of a key piece of equipment for Sabre. It was developed between our engineering department and Sun and Manufacturing Company. They um, took a commercial item and uh, developed it specifically for uh, reaming and honing of the 50 caliber barrels that we've been talking about. There's a lot of development went into it with the type of reamers and the hones the type of uh, oil we're using, the rates we're using uh, to get us the finish that we're looking for. And the way this works, we bring the, the bore diameters to a particular size during the machining process. And then at the very end, we come in with a, with a hone and take out the final few tenths of the diameter so we can hold an exact diameter for the length of the barrel from the chamber end to the breech, from the breech to the muzzle and uh, maintain the finish we need in order to make the rifling effective. This is our test fire application uh, for Sabre. Every weapon that is manufactured by Sabre is test fired uh, before it leaves our facility, uh, including our 50 caliber, uh, our commercial weapons, uh, componentry are all test fired before they leave. Basically the, the process is set up to have an act, in this case it's the 50 caliber and we are test firing barrels. So we have an actual 50 caliber machine gun that we use so there is no discrepancy whether or not it was a fixture issue, a barrel issue. We know exactly what it is. Every run is fired. Every uh, every barrel is tested. It's running. It's one fire shot. It has to be a full ejection. It has to be a full uh, uh, system overload. We fire into a, what's known as a snail trap. Uh, it has armor plating on the back to maintain its uh, its safety so nobody gets gets hurt. 
Uh, these individuals are certified in training and in the operation of it. We only allow certified you know, range master level people to do our testing, whether it be on a barrel, a full gun, a component, it doesn't matter. It's full test, full certification, and once they're done, everything is certified, it gets packed up and it gets shipped to our customer. We're in our mill department of Sabre Defense now, and uh, this is a Matsara 300 that we use to manufacture the lower receivers, the lower receivers for our AR-15s. They start out uh, as, a, as a purchased aluminum forging, um, made of a particular aluminum uh, alloy that we specify, and when it comes out of this machine, it is a fully functional, finished AR-15 lower receiver. The only thing left to do now is, uh, is an anodizing process that basically makes it black, um, and the engraving on it that designates, you know, Sabre Defense and the serial number and those types of things. These are manufactured to within uh, tolerances or plus or minus uh, five, you know, half a thousandths. Um, the greatest tolerance on this is probably plus or minus two. Um, we do everything complete in one clamping, uh, two clampings, excuse me. Uh, we have two separate fixtures. This machine is a multi-pallet, uh, so we run a series on, on one operation, then they're all loaded onto the next fixture. They go through, and once the machine is loaded, we, we just continually move them through from operation to operation. This is a very, a very high cosmetic part. Uh, the people that use these expect a very high level of integrity, both in the manufacturing and its function and its appearance. So both have to be taken into consideration during the design process of the fixturing, the tooling we use, the coolants we use, you know, to give us, you know, these, these micro surface finishes that we have to maintain for our customer. We're in the, uh, in the commercial assembly department of Sabre Defense now, and in this department all of the commercial AR-15s are assembled uh, and we build to order. Uh, we do not stock, you know, guns. What we do have uh, is our latest project. This is a Steyr AUG. We have just went into production on this and have made our first uh, four or five hundred gun shipment to uh, Steyr uh, to their facility. This gun will now be uh, is legal to sell in the United States uh, along with our AR-15, our standard AR-15. Uh, this gun and the, uh, the, the AR-15 are two of the three uh, most sought after and reliable assault weapons in, in the world. The uh, Kryshnikov AK-47 being the first, uh, the Steyr AUG being the second, and the military M16 being the third one. So uh, Sabre is very fortunate to have uh, two of the top three uh, weapons being manufactured and, and assembled in our own facility here in Nashville. The most difficult part of manufacturing any of the assault rifles is in what they call the lower receiver. This is where all the business, this is where your, your trigger components, uh, your upper receiver with your barrel assembly goes into it. Uh, your butt stock and your foregrips, everything gets attached to that lower receiver. If everything in that receiver isn't just right, which is what we saw on the, on the CNC department being made, isn't just right, uh, there's a lot of problems with assembly. It can affect accuracy, it can affect function, uh, plus it also has a, a cosmetic issue with it as well. You can see the lower receiver. This is the lower receiver portion here. Your upper receiver is here. Your foregrips are here. Your butt stock's here your hand grip, your forged iron sight, uh, flash hider up on the front, um, all of that componentry gets attached to this lower receiver. Without, uh, without that being a very precision made item, none of this wants to go together correctly. As you can see, this is, a, this is the finished product when we're all uh, said and done. Sabre does maintain control on uh, the critical components of this gun. We manufacture our own lowers, our own uppers, and our own barrels.